my mother, and she's going to cook some pies. So um, she does something different to the pumpkin pie. Is that what it is? Yep. That she says is very rare. So we're going to let her do her pumpkin pie, and um, she's going to explain to you what she's doing, and I'm going to be behind the camera to kind of help. Okay, there's my mom. So what have you done so far? Well, so far I I washed my 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 new baking dishes and um, I got my pot out. Laura doesn't have any mixing bowls, so I'm going to use a pot. And this is um, Libby's pure pumpkin, 100% pure pumpkin. And that's what you want to get. You don't want to get um, <clears throat> A pumpkin that's mixed with anything just pure pumpkin and um, so what I'm going to do get off my walker and I'm going to put this in a pot which I'm going to use as my mixing bowl it's one can 15 it's 15 ounces that's all you need is one can unless you're making more than one pie How many cans did I buy you? <laughs> you bought me four. No. But Christmas is coming too. And they don't go bad. No. So they can stay in the cabinet till next year. Or until I get into the mood again. Right. Okay. Now, they, have, they tell you to get carnation milk. And that's fine. I don't have any today. So I'm going to use regular milk. Okay. And it's one and a half cups of reg of milk. So Can you I get that on your own? Huh? Can you get it or you need help? No, I'm fine. Okay. I'm going to get the milk. And this is what she's doing here. So you can see in the pot. There you go. Pumpkin smells good. Mm-hmm. Can you reach on it? Yeah. Or you want me to get it? No, I can't. I have things in her, her bad arm. Kind of does not help. Between not being able to walk and, and to have a bad arm, I'm not in good shape. No, but you're doing but it. I wanted to do this because Marty's going to cook. Don't call us by our first name. Uh, uh, Shea Bear is going to cook um, uh, Thanksgiving dinner. So I thought maybe I'd help him out by doing this. Okay. So anyhow, I'm going to pour some milk in there. Okay. Now what did they say? Can one in the... If you need to sit down in your walker, you can. So I'm going to put it right behind okay. you. Okay, one and a half cups. Because she gets unstable sometimes. Okay. Are, are you? Yeah. That'll be nice. So we're going to hit its head on it. So, who, who came to the house today, Mom? Huh? Who came to the house today while you are doing Oh, there was a nice lady that came to the house. That's We're going to redo the kitchen. And um, uh, she came and did measurements, and we discussed what we wanted. Well, what Laura wanted, really. And um, that was good. So we're going to get that going. Uh, she's going to call back and scare us with the price. But... I had to redo this because it's for some reason is like doing a skip and not a smooth uh, huh. video here. So I turned it off and turned it back on to see if that helped, but it doesn't seem to me. I don't know. Now you just blend this in together. Mm hmm. And how many cups was that again? One and a half cups. Okay. So all it was was one and a half cups. Okay. And you're usually ju you're just doing the back of the. Uh, I just can, the right? can. I have a, I have a, um, I I have a cookbook, but God knows where it is. Yeah. So you're just basically doing what's on the can. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But, but it's the same as in my book. Oh. Okay. Only I do something a little bit different at the end, and I'll show you how to do it. It just makes it a lighter pie. 
Pumpkin is a very heavy pie, and after you've eaten a big dinner, turkey and all that, you, you look at the pies when they come out and you think, oh, I'd love a piece, but where the heck am I going to put it? Well, this pumpkin pie, it makes it lighter. I don't know why, but it does. And it digests a lot better. And I love pumpkin pie. I like any pie. Never met a pie I didn't like. Right? So, done that. And... Now we need three quarters a cup of sugar. Okay, there, this is another thing with us. Laura and I are both diabetic. Well, we're both. I have not been diagnosed, but I'm being She's stubborn about it. Yes. She's diabetic, and we're not supposed to have any sugar at all. Well, that's pretty hard to do in this day and age. Everything has sugar in it. Uh, but that's why I use the pure pumpkin because it's just pure pumpkin and you can add as much sugar as you want. I'm going to cut all my sugars in half today. You don't have to. If you don't have diabetes, you're fine. And they want me to have three quarters of a cup of sugar. So I'm going to cut that in half. This is this this is a sugar blend. I have brown sugar in here, and if it's mixed with stevia, and if that way I I'm getting less. I'm getting seventy five percent fewer calories, and I'm getting less sugar. So hopefully, it keeps my sugar down, and I can enjoy my Thanksgiving pie. How much is in there? Not enough yet. I'm going to use. I'm going to use about half a cup. Half a cup, okay. But you can use the two thirds if you're not diabetic. And you can use white sugar. It yeah, call, if you're not for, diabetic. Yeah. You can use white sugar. I just try to get as little sugar in my life as possible, simply right. because it makes my life easier and I feel better. Yeah. Good enough. Okay. We just pour that in and we're going to stir it up. Okay. Now, have you preheated the hot oven yet? No, I should. What do you put preheat the oven to? Um, it says on the can I should preheat the oven to four and a quarter. 425. Can you do that for yeah, me, Yeah, I'll do that while you're doing that. I have, don't, I'm still learning okay, to, So to, we're going to preheat the oven for her. She doesn't know. It's a little bit different. What is it? 425? Yeah. 425. Where's your racks in yeah. the stove? What are they saying? Well, they are like that. That's so, good enough. Okay. All right. So you're going to leave your racks like that. Well, you, you know. don't need the top one at all, and the bottom one should be on the third rung to bake a pie. Well, you said that was and, good enough. Yeah. So you're just going to put them on the top one and no. not the bottom one. You can't put it on the bottom one. You'll burn them. No, I won't. There are three up. You watch it. And all right. Okay. Now, this pie calls for 
15 minutes on 425 and then it tells you to turn it down to turn it down to 350 and you bake for another 30 to 40 minutes and you test it by using a toothpick in the center. Right. Everybody knows how to do that. Okay, we got that done. Now, the next thing they want me to do is to add the spices. And, they, and you can do this. You can use the individual spices. If you have the real spices and you don't have the canned ones, that's the best thing to do. But I just get the one from the grocery store and I'm lazy. So I buy the pumpkin pie spice. It already has the ground cinnamon, the ginger, and uh, the cloves in it. And so it's all in one and you just, you just put a little half a teaspoon in and you put that in and it works just as well as using the separate spices. Okay. Now first I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of salt in. You got salt? Um, huh. Yeah, I got some over here. Got some. Hold on. I'm going to move this. I need it right at the moment, so I'm just going to kind of put it there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here's your salt. There's a little bit in there. This should be enough. Now, don't take the top off. No, thank you. Don't you grind this one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you just grind it. There you go. That's a little easier, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's good enough. Okay. Now, my little thing of pumpkin pie spice. You want me to open those for you? Yeah, you might be able to see it better. I only need the one. Yeah, they seal these, so it makes it hard for people to open them. And even I have trouble. Oh, I can't see stuff, so it's very hard for me. Okay. And then you just pop it open. Oh. There you go. I'm going to sprinkle you, gonna, you want to sprinkle or you want to dip? I'm going to dip, I think. Well, then you need to take the lid off. Okay? Yeah. Just don't try not to spill. Alright. Okay, I'm going to do this by tasting. I'm going to take one scoop, which is half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of the stuff. I'm going to sprinkle it in. Okay. I'm going to see how I think it's enough. I don't want to overspice it. You can do it according to your own taste. Some people like more or less or whatever. But this should do fine. It looks good. It smells delicious. Yeah, you don't want to go over and, and it doesn't take much to and that's not that's okay. that's fine. Let me get this off for you, okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to contaminate. This is the first thing I've baked since I've been sick, so it takes me a little longer to do the most. Okay. You don't have to hurry. Right? No. Right. Can you get me two eggs out, Laura? Yeah, sure. So now we've spiced her all up. She's looks like a pumpkin. It's a nice blend. It's not too thick and it's smooth. And that's what we need. It's something smooth. Okay. Huh? Here's your eggs. Thank you. 
dear? It's always nice to have an extra pair of hands in the kitchen. Okay. Now, in order to keep this light, make sure I don't have to add anything else. Nope, the eggs go in next. So, in order to keep this light, we're going to what they call chiffon it. Break our eggs, and we're going to put the whites in a container, and we're going to put the yolk in. Put the yolk in the pumpkin pie mix. It's one. So you're going to use the yolk and not the. Well, I'll use the other two. Oh, okay. This mix the egg in. This is a tricky thing to do. I learned this when I was in school, how to do this. But it's tricky because you can't get any yolk in the white. All the yolk has to go in, in the pie. Right. And the white goes in there. Mm -hmm. So that's good enough. And there you go. It's not too bad. No. Oh, I screwed it up at times, believe me. I think everybody has. Okay. And we'll just mix this together. Mm -hmm. Now, can you find me a fork? Mm hmm. and smooth. It looks like velvet. You mean a big one or a little one? A uh, regular, regular one. I mean your fork, right? Yeah. Now you could use your mix master and uh, mix, but mix master is kind of heavy for my broken arm, so I will take this and I'm going to gonna play with it uh -huh. and get it all whipped up. Okay. And how long does that usually take? Four well, minutes? The mix, well, the mix master doesn't take any time at all, but me doing this, it takes a, a few minutes. Now when you're separating your eggs, if you get any yolk in with the whites, it won't work. Right. You can't have any yolk in here at all. You can see how it's foaming. Let me see. Show it up. Yeah. It's foaming. So you just keep beating the heck out of it. Now, I don't pretend to be a professional baker. I'm not. I'm just a regular housewife that I enjoy baking. I really do. I enjoy it more than cooking a meal. Got it all foamy. Okay. It doesn't have to stand like 
meringue does. It doesn't have to stand up like that because I didn't put any sugar in this. Right. I suppose you could add a little bit of sugar and it would mix it up better, but I'm trying to stay away from it as much as I can. Right. That's your enemy. Yeah. Or I won't be eating any pumpkin pie or any apple either for that matter. So, now they say when you do this, you blend it in. You, you just, you don't use a mix master, you just gently blend it in. So I pour it in like this. Pour it in like that. And I just take my spatula and I just fold it over and over. You don't have to mix it completely. It just has to be folded into the into the mixture. So all the white disappears, but gently, very gently. Now, now that's done. Your pumpkin's done. We're going to do, and again, I am using Pillsbury um, dough because I can't roll dough anymore. So this, this works out really good, and it tastes very good, and it's very light. Do you need this anymore? And throw it away so you get some room here, okay? Yeah. And, um... We're going to move this over here. So you can see... You have to... You have to take this pie crust out about 15, 20 minutes before you, you use it. And are you going to put some of this down on that? No. You're not going to use this? Not, not right now. Oh, okay. Can you... Okay, get that for me. I have trouble opening pain in the neck, I'll tell you. Yeah, they're all hard. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. I'll now I need it. a teaspoon, and I'm going to just put a little tiny teaspoon of flour on the bottom of my pipe. Oh, just a tiny piece. Now some people use butter, some people use lard. Um, I find just a little teaspoon of um, flour does the trick for me. Everybody's different. And whatever you like to do, you do it. Okay. Show them the amount. I'll put the camera in there a little bit. There we go. And then bring it down so you can see it. There just a little tiny bit around the bottom of the pan. There you go. That's what I do. Uh -huh. Then I open this up, which Laura has done for me. Don't use my I think. But it's my name on YouTube. <laughs> Monkey? Yes. Monkey. Oh. 1,000 of the years, okay? I always want to call her mouse. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Let me see the... Throw that out. Yeah. All right. You okay? You need help? There you go. You gently do this. I'm going to move this over a little bit so you have more room. And you place it. This pie plate is 9.5 inches mm -hmm. pie plate, yeah. and you need that big a one to make this, and it's a deep pie plate. We had to buy new ones because we can't find hers, and I really never used uh, glass. I always used the little tin ones if we did a pie, <laughs> or we bought them. <laughs> so, um, so we bought two two nice ones, and we'll be able to use them. Forever. Yeah, and then I'll find hers and we'll even have more. I only had one. I, yeah, you had a blue one. I sold one. Yeah. So. Yeah, Laura had a lot of stuff. I mean, she had a whole house full of stuff, and I did too. So a lot of our, my stuff I sold. And now some of it I wish I hadn't. You always sell the stuff you're going to need and keep the other stuff. Because that stuff sells. <laughs> <laughs> I just crinkle it around. I'm not very good at it, but 
Well, but do you want to bring it over a little bit more so then it's more even? You think? Well, this thing keeps crawling down on me. Press it with your fingers, like maybe. Just press it with your fingers. Te scared just... of tearing it. Oh, well. Wow. You just press it down like that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. just crimp it. Yeah. Just crimp it around. Or you can use a fork, too. Yeah, you can yeah. use that. Yeah. Okay, now but. I'm going to put the mixture in here. Okay, so you want me to help you or you want to do it? Because of her arm, she has a... Maybe you better do it for me. All right, I... we don't need this. I don't want it all over the floor. All right. So we're going to get rid of this. Put it in here for now, okay? Yeah. So I'm going to pour this in here, all her pumpkin stuff, as you see. And we're going to pour it in here. That's a beautiful pumpkin pie. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Now, I, I think I heard the oven hit the mark. Did yep, it beat. So we can put it in the oven. And um, I'll put it in the oven for her, and we'll put it on the timer, and then we'll come back, okay? Is that the deal? That's the deal. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so now we got to turn it down to 350. What'd you do? Already put the timer on it? No. Well, it hasn't even gone yet. No, well, it's coming. Well, it hasn't gone yet. 27 to 6 going down. I'm going to, can you want to open it? Take and, a peek. And take, take a peek here. We're going to open it up and see what it looks like right now. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Looks pretty good. I'm hungry. All right, we've got to close it real slowly. Okay, so after this, it's going to go down to what? three three fifty for... 35 minutes. Okay, so we're going to, okay, there we go. So we're going to turn it off. Um, oh, shit. It turned 350? Yeah. Start, and you don't take the, take it out. No. Just going to leave it in there, and for what, how many minutes? 35. 35 minutes. Now this is a strange stove, so, <laughs> yeah. So that now we're gonna wait and we'll be back after our 35 minutes is up, okay? Okay guys, the pie is ready. It just dinged. So we're gonna take it out and we're gonna let it sit and rest, right? Yeah. You're gonna use the toothpick? You have to, yeah. Alright. Oh. Alright, put take... it on top of the stove. Alright, I'm gonna put it on top of the stove for her. And I'm going to turn this off, and I have to plug in my phone because my phone is um, dying, so I'm kind of looks lovely. be a little hard here. Looks but. really good. There we go. Let me bring this over here now that I brought it out. It's bubbling inside. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. That's what it looks like. Looks pretty good. It is. Okay, good. take your tooth back and um, I'll do a test. Do your I test. Hope it's done. And we'll make sure it's done. Because everybody's stove is a little different, you know. She's never done anything in mine. And uh, so, there we go. What did you break? We need a bigger stove, guys. No, we need a counter space, and we're going to get it. So, finally, this kitchen's going to be done. So, what do you think? I think it's pretty good. Yeah? It looks Stitch. good? Do it again and show them so they know. Stick it straight in the middle of the pie. No, it's not done. You can see that it's got pie come out. Okay, so, so how much longer do you think you'll have? Oh, let's put it in for another 10 minutes. Okay, so I have to take Bruno to the um, groomers today, so I'm going to end this now. Um, she'll put it in for 10, 10 more minutes and test it. It should be done by then, so um, I'm sorry, but that that's basically it anyways on the on the 
pumpkin pie there. So I'll set her the stove up and then I gotta take Bruno to the groomers. So anyways, I hope you all have a good Thanksgiving. She's gonna do an apple pie while I'm gone. Um, it's basic apple pie, so um, it's nothing exciting. So I'm not gonna do a video on that one. So Anyways, I can't wait to get the kitchen done. It's going to cost a little over $8,000 to have it done. Um, you have to put, uh, what, 65% down. So as soon as I get my money over there, they'll start the orders, they said, on my, my kitchen. So I'll probably get it done somewhere in January, early February, probably somewhere in there. So um, we'll show you the progress. We're going to do videos on it so you can see what happens and all the... Fun stuff we're going to have to do. I'm so excited. Anyways, uh, um, Monkey says she's out for now, and y'all have a great rest of the week. Bye, y'all.